I'm not going to um, do the whole pattern um, from this multiple. I'm just going to do one of these little guys so you can see how it goes. Now, it, there's a knit two together, a double yarn over, and an SSK. And then on the following row, which I, is a wrong side row, and I'm working flat, so I'm going to be working it from this direction, I have this little knit stitch stuck out there. And why that is there is that all of these other stitches, if I look at my chart, on the wrong side, I'm going to be purling. So that is the one time I'm going to knit. So I've just cast on a few stitches so I can show you this pattern. I'm going to knit, knit, and then I'm going to do a knit two together. I'm going to do a double yarn over. And to do a double yarn over, I bring the yarn to the front, wrap it around once, wrap it around again, and I've got two yarn overs on my needle. And then I'm going to do an SSK. Now what those yarn overs are actually doing is they're replacing the stitches that I have decreased. So my stitch, stitch count remains the same. If I didn't make a double yarn over, I would be making the piece smaller and smaller with these decreases. And I'm going to work to the end of the row. This is my right side row. And when I turn, I'm going to be on a wrong side row. I'm going to purl, purl, because that's what it says to do in my chart. Purl, purl, and here I get to my first yarn over. I purl into the first yarn over, and I take it off the needle. And that leaves, <clears throat> that leaves the yarn over, and so I then knit into that yarn over, and then I purl. Purl, purl. So I purl into one half of one of the yarn overs and then I knit in the other half. And this is what that looks like when I have worked it.